So, two weeks ago now, maybe a little bit more, I found something really special growing in this shop, which by the way is really easy to happen because there's a lot of stuff on the shelves that I don't really get to. They get watered, I don't really know what's in there. But long story short, I found what looked like a variegated plowmanii. And I put this picture on my Instagram saying, oh look, I found a thing, let's see where it goes. Now, I got a little bit shit, as a lot of you might relate to when you post a picture of something online going, is this variegated? And you get several people, should we just say, saying that it isn't, it's fire on whatever. So obviously I had a little bit of that. So I thought today, being that it's actually quite easy to do, I thought it might be a really good idea to test it for viruses, which I will get onto in a minute. But first I want to show you how the Plum is actually doing because we wanted to wait for it to get a new leaf just to see what basically happened. So I'll show you where it is at the moment. Right, so this is him. So this is the leaf that went up on Instagram. This is kind of it hardened off. There's a little bit here of whiteness. Generally, it's all pretty patchy. It's weird looking. I'm not going to say it's the most gorgeous looking leaf in the world, would you? It's, in terms of like how the variegation looks, I wouldn't say it's that sexy, would you? Not particularly. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird, but whatever. That's not really the point. It's brought out a new leaf since then. Now, it doesn't look very impressive, but I'm pretty sure if I turn around on the back of it, I'll just show you this first. There's kind of lines of variegation going up the petiole. I did take some sexy b-roll of this, so you might say you might not. There is actually a big chunk going down here. Not only that, can you see it there? That should be really visible. Yes. Yeah. Again, I've got b-roll of this, but that's kind of what it's looking at at the minute. So we've got this kind of, whoa, I don't know what the hell this is. This is the one we noticed when it was kind of half unfurled. And then it's come out with this and you can see there's something on it. It's just- There is a little bit, isn't it? It's not that obvious. So Ben's going to tell you a little bit more about the test that we're doing today and all of that sort of shizzle. But this is what we're going to do today. We're going to take a sample of this plant and we're going to test it and see if this is actually a virus. Do you think it's going to be viral? Um, no. I think no. I think personally, it's weird, but I think it's, I think you could call it variegation. Yeah, I think so. Based on what it looks like on the petiole and on the, uh, the stem. I yeah, I think yeah. could go either way, genuinely. Mm -hmm. I, I'm kind of curious to see what happens, but I'm not, I'm not expecting it to no. be viral, we should say. Yeah. Right. So full disclosure, Ben actually ordered these tests. You found them. Why are you looking yes. like a pleb? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so basically yeah. Ben found these tests, so Ben's going to tell you about them, because honestly, I don't know a whole wedge about them. I just know they test for a bunch of things. So what are these tests? Where are they from? Okie dokie. Well, these tests are a lateral flow test, which you might be familiar with, with uh, COVID. We got them from a company in France called Agdea, which does a lot of the other laboratory testing. I think it's ELISA testings. And apparently these are as, as good as sending it off to a laboratory, if you do them correctly, of course. It covers a group of viruses is known as potivirus, which includes uh, dashi mosaic, tobacco mosaic, loads of other sort of viruses, around about 40 to, 40 to 50 other well-known viruses, which infect aroids and, and other crop plants, etc. It's one of the tests that covers the majority of viruses. Now, that's not to say that it isn't a different virus. It's just that the most well-known virus is probably going to cover it, that. It covers what crops yes. up generally, and it, exactly, it'll cover yeah. a large amount of them. Uh -huh. It doesn't mean to say that if this plant passes this test, it's not viral, mm -hmm. just means it's negative for these viruses. Yes. Or viri. I don't know if that's a word. I don't know. Is it a word? Totally viral, we know. should Google that. Yeah, maybe we should. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Right, so I think we've got everything we need. Would you say? You're going to help me test. Yep. We're going to take this upstairs. We're going to cut it, make sure it's all sterile, and then get a little bit, a little bit on the go with this, I think. Yeah. So we've got everything we need. Yeah, indeed. Let's just crack on. Okay. That's right, so. What we're looking at here is the test, the strip, and what you can't see off camera, because I have angled it down at the table, the plant is right here. I'm gonna cut it with some scissors and I'm gonna cut the bottom part of the leaf off. You said about a centimeter in a bit? Yeah, give it to it, yeah. Off the bottom. Yeah. So we're gonna do about the... Yeah. You've sterilized the scissors, by the way. Of course, yes, it's all sterilized. You just can't see it, guys, because I can't really do the... I just can't do the angles. That's what I've cut off. There, you can totally see there's plenty okay. of it there. Because that's what it says. It kind of says use the, the bit that has got the majority of it. So I'm going to pick this up. Again, you probably can't see me doing it. Fair enough. But I'm going to cut the top off this little, well, baggy, this plastic packet, because this is how we're going to put the sample in. So I need to cut this part off the top here. Right. Now I'll put it in. Oh my God. Okay, that's quite precise. Right. So there's two sheets of mesh here that I hope you can see. I'm putting the sample in between the two layers. 
I'm picking up that. Yeah, get as far down as you can. Far down, down as I can, okay. Yeah. About in, there. In, in the fluid, essentially. In the fluid. Well, I'll push it near the bottom then. Yeah. No? I'll take it. All right. I'm going to do the more sciencey bit. Yes. Am I get right? Lipstick. Yeah. I'm going to get, very professional guys, I'm going to get a lip liner. This one is by NYX. It is a matte lip liner in the shade Neon. Very nice, if you want to do it at home, that's the shade I suggest. What we're going to do is we're going to scrub across the surface, across this mesh to release just all the, all of the things juice. inside the leaf. All the juice. Ben's yeah. going to call it juice. Yeah. Let's say cells, <laughs> but... <All right. laughs> but juice is fine. Juice is good. So I'm going to go over this like that and I'm kind of going to scratch it, but I'm not going to do it too hard. All right. Oh, don't feel good, you know. Slow it down a bit, don't go too mental. I'm not going mental. <laughs> God. But I can see the gauze making an imprint in the leaf now. Mm. And it's definitely all in the fluid. Yeah, the 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 uh, the testing solution goes yeah. kind of greeny. Right. Yeah. It's starting to. Okay. I just don't know how much more I should mash it. I can do it different directions. Yeah, well, you know, forwards, backwards, mash it, get it, you know. Get the juices out. Exactly, yeah. It should be sand it should be like pulped up. Pulped up, okay. Mm. It's all very scientific. Just don't make froth. Don't make a froth. I don't know how I could make a froth from this, if I'm honest. This is quite... Like, how can anyone make a froth from this? I, I don't know. That's if anything, it's just it's just a, a a juice. Right, I would say that was done. All right. I show it to you. I'm showing it to Ben off camera. So make sure that the juice is Goes. all like green. Yeah, give it give it a bit of a, a, a massage and get all the juice everywhere. You want the green juice into this recess? Pretty much, yeah. So mix the juice that's in the bottom of the packet with the green juice that's there. They don't give you a lot, do they? They don't. It's like those COVID tests, they don't give you a lot either. No, that's true. It's like one or two drops. So that's yeah. all you need, but you can keep the, the juice away from the top as much as possible. Okay. There is juice in the recess. It's not a metric ton, like it keeps squeezing back out. That's all right. It doesn't matter as long as there is some. some there is ju some juice in the recess, if everyone can see on camera, there is some juice in the recess. Yes. Okay, so you stick that dipper. Do I need to peel anything off? No, no. It just goes straight in. Oh, even a, even though it's got green sample on it. Correct. There's a there's a green line. A uh, green line. There's a there's a line on the green patch. Yeah. That says up to that amount, which is probably like about what, a quarter of the way up, maybe. Yeah. You need good eyesight for that. I know. I'll tell right, just be really careful with this bit because this is where it's important not to put it too far in. Well, that's the best I can probably do. Let me have a little look. Probably can only go down a little bit more. There, I would say. All right. Right, so what I'm about to do, I'm going to stop the camera, then I'm going to immediately start it again as soon as I've got this into a better position for you guys. And we are going to wait literally half an hour and see what happens.
Right, it's been 30 minutes, it's actually just been over 30 minutes in all truth and what you can see here, the test result has not moved. So what you can see on this side here is, if I hold it up to the camera, you should see a little line here. Basically this is the control line and if the plant tested positive for any of these viruses then you would see another line. I believe the line should be below, can't really remember but yeah. As you can see there is one line which means that this plant has tested negative for any of the viruses that are in the potty group. I probably should have mentioned this at the start, guys. I didn't, but it does say here, store at plus four degrees C. We do store these in the fridge, if you're wondering. So they have actually been refrigerated. So that's, that's that basically. That is the viral test done. So there you have it, guys. It really is that easy to test for viruses on your houseplants <laughs> that might be viral. <laughs> <laughs> if you want any information on these kits, we've left the best of, to our ability anyway, of information for you down below. There'll be more companies than this that do it. This is just the one we picked. I think Ben mentioned it was like the top hit on Google. But you can get these and they can be done. They are available to the public. So now that I've got a little tail missing on my, uh, my little plant, I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was somewhat insightful. I hope lessons were learned here. <laughs> If you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you'd like to see any more of my content besides this, I've got some good stuff, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. I also have some merch at the minute, I do believe. Um, link for that is in the description. There's some really nice stuff in there. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.